Welcome to research. If you're new to research, this page doesn't need much of a description. It's pretty self-explanatory. As we see here, we have these yellow boxes, which pretty much give you a guide throughout the system. If you're not sure what to do, look for those and they'll give you a, a hint. In addition to that, we obviously also have the little help icon here, which will pop up a video and tell us a little bit more about what's going on. In this case, within research, the first step is to choose a project. So here we can see three previous projects that I've created 14 hours ago, 22 hours ago, and also on the 28th of February. So the first thing is we need to look at is a project. So what is creating your project? A project helps you manage your research into group ideas. So as we can see before, I previously created a project about baby. Now that gave me some ideas about push chairs. So I'm just going to put in the project name push chair, and I'm simply going to create the project. Now the first step of creating a project is what we call our ideas cloud. So the ideas cloud basically from a keyword gives us lots of other ideas, keywords that we can use to pursue to find niche keywords. So let me just take a step back and explain that a little bit further. So basically what we have here from our original, from our original project keyword of push chair, we have a list of ideas, so you baby buggy, um, push chair, pram. So again, ideas around that keywords around our original idea. Um, and now what happens here is the bigger the word, the more it appears online. So the more likely that we're going to find other keywords around that around that keyword. So the bigger the keywords, the more prominent the keywords are in our ideas the more likely we're going to find traffic around those. Now, simply clicking on these adds the keyword, the idea keyword to our shortlist. So we can simply click the keywords to our shortlist to find a list that we're going to move forward with and look for niche keywords. Also, don't be afraid of looking for single and plural keywords. You will, you will get different results. So it's worthwhile if you see, for example, in that case, stroller and strollers to add them both. So we've got a few ideas here. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to go for a, a few and see if we can find something interesting. Obviously, you keep going through this process until you've found a niche. So once we've got some ideas in our shortlist, we can jump over to our niche tab and then we can start working through our shortlist. So to search for a niche keyword, simply clicking on the item displays here in our niche data. As we can see, from our first keyword, baby buggy, we have two four-star rating niche keywords. So basically, the star rating allows us to simply identify which keywords, which niche keywords are going to work best for us. Now we have all the data here to back up, so let me just briefly run, over, run through that. This is all covered in module two and three of the education, um, but we have LMS, which is last month searches. So how many people searched specifically for the exact keyword last month? 5,400 in this case. And then we have AS, so that's average searches. So that's average searches over the whole of the last 12 months. So over the last 12 months, 4,400. So slightly up last month, but pretty consistent we're looking for these numbers to be similar so it's not just a spike. Um, now SERPs, SERPs is, um, is, a, is, um, is pretty much straightforward. So when we search for that keyword in a search engine, again, such as Google, how many pages are returned? So search engine results pages. How many results are returned? How many pages? So how, much, how big is our competition? And then finally, we have our KEI, which is Keyword Effective Index. So this is um, a, a figure that tells us how difficult it is going to be. So it, it takes into account these, all these figures together and gives us this ratio here. Now, we can go into depth into that, and we do in the, in the modules, but basically that is all extrapolated into a simple star rating. So we're looking for a five, which would be awesome, a four star, which would be great, or possibly a three star, which would be good. Certainly, we don't want any averages or pause, which is one and two star. So if we're finding keywords which are four, five, or three star, then we add that we can go on and add those to our shortlist. 
Now to simply add those to the shortlist, we just again click the keyword in our niche list. And here we can see, I'm gonna add the second one as well. So we've got two five stars. And here we can see in our shortlist now, the niche keywords also have a checkbox next to them. Now that means that we can then select those to generate our insights as we go in further. Now I'm just gonna close off the baby, baby buggy off our shortlist because we've used that one now and I'm gonna go on to Stroller. Now, as you can see with Stroller, we've got quite a few good uh, options here. In fact, a five star. So simply clicking that adds it to our shortlist. And also, we are going to choose those four stars as well. I'm gonna simply select those and then remove Stroller. And here we see another a couple of four stars. So let's add those. Now we've got quite a few to go to go with here now for our shortlist. So we can simply now generate insights. So we've ticked our keyword in our shortlist and then simply click the generate insight. Now what we see here within our insights overview page is the keyword we've chosen along with the data that we've already seen from the niche report and then finally the domain names that are available. So as you can see that have just been going away and checking those. So we're looking specifically for exact match domain names to our keyword. So either the domain with no spaces or the space substitute with a dash and then either comms, nets, orgs or infos. And we see those, a full list of those and we can simply choose which one we want to look at. So for example, we choose this one and click the Insight Report.